You're listening to the Film Slice Podcast. Good on ya. Well, Keep we, it up. We hope you are. Hey team, Angus Strachan here, and welcome to the Film Slice Podcast. Yay. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, Kane Diggly Wiggly, Kane Dogs. Hi. And bro, Richardicus Richards. Hi. Uh, what is <laughs> happening, boys? Oh. What's happening, boys? What's happening? Basically, yeah. we're sitting in a room. Nice one. We're all getting a bit antsy because we so. really want to talk about a film. All- That's right, guys. We're reviewing Avengers Infinity Wars. Kane Dogs. Whack us over the head with that yeah. IMDb summary. Summary so, so from in. IMDb. The Avengers and their allies must be willing to sacrifice all in an attempt to defeat the powerful Thanos before his blitz of devastation and ruin puts an end to the universe. Jeez, that's a bit spoilery. Right? Jeez. Oh, so here's something that I do want to also, mention. Also, hashtag Thanos demands your silence. Uh, working pretty well so far. It's doing well. Yeah, it's doing well. We... Uh, Promise so not Thanos to spoil demands, anything yeah. until our uh, spoiler section. IMDb has given this a nine point one. That's the Onto, highest. That's the highest an MCU movie has ever gotten on IMDb. There you go. By an entire like, I think Civil War was the second highest, or Iron Man, and they're both like eight point one or something awesome. like that. So Interesting. Yeah, it's like a whole point higher. It is early days though. Mm, I'd I like to see where that might. settles down. Now. Yeah, yeah it, it, it almost get a little will, Hawkeye rating in there. All right, uh, I guess we're moving on to our first segment. When did you see the movie and what did you think? When did you see the movie? What did you think? Do you like the movie? No, the shit. <laughs> Birdman, I'm going to start with you this time. Start with me? Yeah. I saw the movie on Friday, which was about two days ago. Um, and yeah, I liked it. Thought it was really good. Probably my favorite of the Marvel films so far. I saw the movie um, on Thursday yeah, because uh, yeah. I was working on Wednesday when it came out. I was pretty shattered. Shattered. Got called in. Not mm-hmm. happy, Jan. No. Uh, but yeah, I watched it and whoo, emotional roller coaster oh, yes. for me. Kane Dogs, when did you see the movie and what did you think? So I booked tickets in advance and saw it opening day on Wednesday. I was super giddy. I was actually nervous to see the film. I went in like cold sweat. <laughs> Palms are sweaty. Saw it with the mum spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> mum spaghetti, yeah. I went in, very mum spaghetti. It hit me hit me real deep. Hit you and deep. then I saw it again on Friday. Uh, also had to book tickets. The cinemas were packed mm. both ooh, times. Ooh, not at Sunbury during the day, my friend. <laughs> uh, Actually, I, yeah, my cinema was pretty yeah, quiet. As well, yeah. I accurately chose a, a session which I thought the least likely yeah. of large All, amounts both, of people both would go cinemas to. I went yeah, in. Me too. As were, close to lunchtime as possible. Both cinemas I went in were fully booked entirely. So there were people that nice. had to watch the movie from like the bottom left corner with their Shattered. Like- so I guess you would recommend it. Uh, and who would you recommend it to then? Okay, so this one was interesting. Without talking too much, I think if you... With, with most superhero films, you can sort of go in without having seen others and pick up on what's happening. This one, less so, I think. If you haven't followed the films... This will be very. This will be a very bumpy ride for you to try and grasp. This film feels very much like a season finale. Like this is more than any other f- film in the MCU has been so far. Uh, like a, a direct sequel, or, or it, it is. It is the nineteenth film in a series, and this film more than the others absolutely feels like that. So if you yeah. haven't seen very others, much like the end of a TV show. Yeah, like the, you, the last episode. Of the if season. you haven't seen this, this whole film is the third act. I yeah, wouldn't I agree. See this there's one. there's not much space for character development in this just because there's yeah. so many characters and yeah. everything. Like yeah. it would have been a it's a long movie already, um, but yeah, it was absolutely chock full of characters. So I think you do need to come into this movie with a bit of understanding uh, who the where the characters are coming from and who they are. And what you know? What's Absolutely, yeah. Uh, um, I would I say mean, this, yes, but- this is the most cinema worthy of all of of most films that I've mm, seen. Yeah, it's like like to like to see this in the cinema. Yeah, it, so when, when I think of other films like like you know like th- that we've watched, it, even even when I'm thinking of some of the Star Wars films, I'm like, this is the most cinema worthy. Yeah, this one absolutely feels like an epic yeah definitely this it's, one it's massive uh all right uh before we head on any further you guys know how i put up on twitter each week and now instagram each week Ooh. uh what film we're reviewing and ask people to uh let us know what they thought of the film i also did this yes. and got a uh 
We got some replies. Ooh, a reply. Got a it. reply for us. And actually, actually, a quite lengthy reply from uh, long time listener Connor Kelly. Connor really? Kelly. Bloody legend. Yeah, he said, uh, so upon the Ooh. second viewing, I still like it. The ending has grown on me since the first viewing because it only makes me more excited for Avengers 4 with the... Re- yeah, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, he says Thanos was great definitely up there with the top three villains in the MCU I'd agree with him I'd be curious as to who okay. interesting put in there most of the rest is spoilers except uh, yeah. 9 out of 10 can't wait to hear what you fellas think Ooh. thanks Connor we'll, we'll definitely dive into uh, what you say a bit more in the spoiler section yeah and if nothing else um, we'll read it like <laughs> yeah we yeah, always appreciate exactly. it I also got a review did you get more do you have more uh no Okay, all right, cool. Who needs more? We have Connor. Who needs more? We got Connor. So, Sinead says, really liked the movie, but so much happened, I feel like you have to see it twice to fully process uh, what happened. Actually, I lie. I did get another one on Twitter, so. And Do I, you have anyone else? I feel that's accurate. Heard it here first. Angus is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> we concur. Got me. Here's another one from Twitter, um, coming from Veronica Strachan. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but let me guess, you loved it. <laughs> Cry, crying happy face, crying happy face, crying happy face. Here's the thing. Uh, note to self, must avoid spoilers. Second note to self, must see the movie soon. <laughs> and right you are. Uh, thanks, thanks, mum. Can I say... <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, <laughs> the thing is, is what she's written there, which is, haven't seen it yet, but can I assume you liked it? You could actually apply that to all but two movies we've reviewed this yeah. whole year so far. <laughs> can we re- read that out? for every single podcast from this point <laughs> forward. It's like, we've also got a message from yeah. Veronica Strachan. Actually, yeah. I, I do like movie, that, but I'm I do sure like that my mum's got the, you know, in on the in jokes with, uh, yeah, good on you, mum. Okay, so I, just wrapping up the spoiler-free section, I think we're all unanimous in saying you should go see the movie. So a bloody thumbs uh, up. Yeah. yeah. Go watch it at the cinema. Watch it at the cinema and, yeah, avoid <laughs> and, spoilers. And, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the only place it's out at the moment. So if you're watching it on wow. something else, mm. you're shame pirate. On you're a pirate. Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, please do switch off now. Make sure you come back and visit us after you've seen the movie, uh, because now we are heading in to the spoiler section. Uh, Thanos cannot touch us here because we warned you with multiple horns and sirens <coughs> and whoop whoops. And a new spoiler thing from Brody, apparently. Yes. Okay. Spoilers! Like Bruce Willis, a ghost. Never gonna let me make the most of a viewing experience. Testing my resilience, making me cry while I'm eating my toast. Jam side down, it was golden brown. All this gives me a real big frown. Look at you laughing like a dumb clown as you're forcing me to fucking drown. In sadness, I liked that toast. It was really great, but I didn't want to boast. Jam, butter, it had the works. You're all a big fucking load of jerks. But in the end, what can I do? It's time for a bloody film review. Spoilers! Not about toast. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Not about toast. <laughs> oh, what a cool, 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 cool sound effect, Angus. <laughs> That's right, guys. We are in the spoiler section of Avengers Infinity Wars. This the is Infinity the, Wars. This is boom, the space boom, boom. Where, <laughs> where we dissect this movie for all of its glory. Did you want to go through... Connor Kelly's. Uh, Connor Kelly's more in-depth review. I'll just... Holy, I'm just looking at it. Here's... Wow. All right. Yeah. yeah, let's have a listen. All right. So he says, Upon second viewing, I still like it. The ending has grown on me since the first viewing because it only makes me more excited for Avengers 4 with the original team plus hopefully Ant-Man and anyone else who may be alive plus Captain Marvel, obviously. Uh, Thanos was great. Definitely up there with top three Marvel villains in the MCU. I love the relationship between him and Gamora. Oh, yeah, the relationship. Was that him the or you? The relationship. Was that him or you? <laughs> that, that was That me. was Angus. Okay. Sorry, that was me. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. He's, yep. he's, he's not on. from yep. New Zealand. Yep. Good on him. Her death scene was uh, my most emotional moment in the movie, which was really helped by the score, which was amazing uh, throughout, particularly the first few really of good. Spider-Man yeah, and The Guardian. Tom Holland is great as ever, and his death was also very tough. It I was. think his death, his death was definitely harder for me than um, Gamora. But yeah, I think his death. Is Tom Holland indeed. the same age as? I think he's the same age. Uh, as uh, yeah, similar, very yeah. similar. Yeah, twenty 
three, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, so much you young folk. My favorite, my favorite <laughs> moment of the movie was Thor's <laughs> entrance into the final battle because just awesome. Totally agree. That was my favorite. Love the big. scene with him and the Guardians, but my only annoyance with the movie was the scene with Quill jeopardizing the whole plan because even though he clearly hates Thanos. Thanos <laughs> for Mate, his name is Thanos. Up. I found it out of character. Yeah, Connor. Yeah. My man. Yeah, bro man agrees. Uh, and I agree what's, too. What's that line in the Deadpool trailer that's like, let's meet in the middle and say, no, it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that was pretty much it. That and some rushed scenes from roughly minutes 10 to 35 with cutting between everyone, which I guess was ne- necessary. Correct you are. Overall, amazing movie, and the post credit scene has me very excited for Captain Marvel and the next Avengers, 90 out of 10. There you go. Thanks, Connor. You're, you're a bloody champ. He's a, he's a bloody champ, and I really love getting people's opinions yes. in on this podcast. So please do write into us. I actually, during I hit record, and maybe about 20 minutes after hitting record, I actually got another reply. So I'm just gonna Ooh, bring that, letter about bring that bad to boy out. Film slash podcast, and it was on Instagram. So people, Instagram. please jump on Instagram because I hate Twitter. This one's from Mr. Ethan G. Dean. He says it's probably too late. Nah, you caught us just on time. <laughs> literally, <laughs> you, like you just made literally it. just on time. Uh, but he says I loved it. Uh, I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. Still has me fucked up. Right, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. Very, very oh. sad, no. Hashtag, Brutal. I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he says, and the Thanos character development was tits with a little perfect with hand a picture of tits? emoji. No. Aww. No. Uh, that and is he, high praise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. Look, Thanks, if you want to write in, Ethan. please do. Yeah. Thanks everyone for writing in, and yeah, yeah, I really like listening to other people's opinions other than just Brody and Jordan. Yeah, so, look, we see each other like, please, every week. Yes. It's pain in the ass, if I'm honest. Please do follow us on Instagram so you can keep up to date with what movies we're going to review next. Uh, and anyway, onwards with the review. As always, we are going to start off with the positives. Positivlers, uh, Broadman. What was the absolute best thing? In Avengers Infinity Wars for you. Absolute best. Absolute best. Abs- comp- the top shelf. Top shelf. The most premiums of premium. That's it. Uh, for me, it was Red Skull on that planet being all Fucking real wise yeah. and cool. That, that was I wonder crazy. if they got Hugo Weaving to do the voice, because I know that they, they didn't did. get Hugo Weaving back to do anything else. It wasn't Hugo Weaving standing there. Oh, really? Yeah, well, Hugo Weaving... Maybe he filmed it at the end of Captain America. He didn't. Hugo Weaving, <laughs> Hugo Weaving had a <laughs> falling had out. that in the bank. Just in case. He had a falling out uh, with the MCU and said he'd never come back. So I'd be skeptical as to whether it was even his voice. Oh, right. Interesting. There you go. I really liked it. I was like, this is yeah. cool. This is the most character development I've ever seen in a Marvel film. And I didn't even... You know? I didn't even expect it. No, nah, I was neither. like, all right, here's like a ghost. I, I was like, character. I was like, oh, who's this going to reveal? Like, this is an co- interesting looking character. And then it was like Red Skull. I was like, whoa, what? Red Skull? And I was like, oh man, that's awesome. I like, I like kind of like stepped up out of my chair a little bit. You know, I like <laughs> le- leant forward and I was like, this is cool. I'm so into this scene now. Kane Dogs, your absolute top of the shelf I've, favorite I thing. I don't know. Okay, never mind then. Can I? My fa- <laughs> <laughs> had your chance you had your chance and, and you blew it um honestly it's really difficult for me to pick the hard mm-hmm. thing about this film is the whole thing is like a third act mm-hmm. and as a result there's not like one moment what I do really like is there's a part where Spider-Man first comes on the scene and Robert Downey Jr. is fighting some aliens and shit and Spider-Man's like what's happening Mr. Stark and he's like this guy's from space to steal a stone from our wizard yeah, yeah. and I just loved that and like, he's like <laughs> alright <laughs> yeah I just, I just, um, I think my favorite part is just when Tony Stark gets told that Thanos is coming and Tony Stark very quickly is like, all right, I've been waiting for this. What's our, like, yeah, he very, he plan? immediately jumps into like, okay, this is surprising. I've been expecting this for six years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love, I just, yeah. Which is true. Cause he's the only one that's seen. That saw it coming. That's seen in that. that yeah. In the first Avengers. Yeah. So, yeah. um, and like, you know, not that I'm a fan of like his trilogy as an arc, but and mostly especially the third one is about his fear of this movie happening yeah um yeah 
the, everybody's reaction to this, <laughs> which is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm like a dog watching cars go past, trying to talk about this movie. <laughs> it's fantastic, uh, so jittery. I would say my absolute favorite bit of the film was the battle at Wakanda. Yeah. Just that whole that whole like first scene and everything where like the armies the are charging are like, in and like Captain America Captain like, America forwards. That was like yeah, my ultimate favorite thing was Captain America and Black Panther just like Jump legging away. it just out the front of yeah. That, that, was, that was just like some- that was epic cuz I remember the first the very first Avengers film when the Avengers um, soundtrack came on, like the theme came on, and then the title turned around for this for the first time. Like I got shivers down my spine. Yeah. And admittedly, in this movie, I didn't get shivers when I like when the first title. I wasn't sure if it, it just fell a bit flat for me, and it took it did take a while to kind of get me going in. Yeah. But it was that similar feeling in the yeah the Wakanda battle. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely loved seeing. Because they don't often touch on Cap's abilities specifically in comparison to everybody else, just because he's got super strength, yeah. super speed, and, like, in these kinds of films, everyone kind of has that. But when you see him, like, sprinting forwards and he just runs past everyone yeah. and immediately mm-hmm. catches up to, like, Black Panther. On your left. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. yeah that that was about And even the, uh, the, like, evil creatures that, like, mm. kill themselves to get through. Yeah. Brutal, yeah. brutal. Best this, CGI army we've had in an Avengers film. <laughs> this film was so much like Lord of the Rings crossed with Star Wars. Yeah, mm. it was like that. Like that's. I think that's a. That's the best way I can describe this. The overall of this film, because like uh, this was such a Star Wars. Like all the stuff in space. I was like, I was like, that is a shot. I feel like I've seen that shot in the Star yeah. Wars movie when there's like a ship going like pulling into yeah. some big space station or something like that. Uh, oh, this whole movie. Cool. All right, um, I'm just gonna knock it out of the way. Let's go our very hated thing, like the worst thing we thought about Avengers. We'll knock those out of the way, and then we're gonna dive in. Depth. Okay, so so just our like our biggest, the thing that we hated the most. The thing yeah, we hated the most for me, I touched on it earlier. I think it it just took a bit too long to get me as excited as I wanted to be okay. about it. The, I mean the the intro was it was amazing. Yeah, but it. It didn't really fill me with much anticipation for the rest of the film. Yeah. Uh, so I think it was just a bit slow towards towards the start, and I guess like they did have to introduce all of Thanos's children and yeah. stuff like that. So it did kind of drag a bit at the start, but yeah, that was my main negative arto. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say one thing that sort of like it pulled me out of the movie a few times, and you might agree. I think Thanos, on a whole, looked incredible, but I also think there are some shots where it just doesn't quite hold up. Like, there's some scenes where it's just Thanos, and it's like, it's a CGI background and a CGI character, and therefore it looks like an animated film in amongst... Right. And and the other thing with Thanos is he changed size a few times in this, um, and I didn't, like, it was just the second time I sort of noticed it more, is that when he's fighting the Hulk... He's the same He's size. He's the same size as yeah. the Hulk. And then later, like, when there's a flashback with him and Gamora, he, like, kneels down and he's, like, nearly, like, shoulder height to her head height, which would mean that he's just a little bit bigger than a human. And then yeah. he just... He changes size a little bit. And there's some... Yeah, I think... Don't get me wrong. One of my favourite villains. He holds up really well for the most part, but there are scenes that I saw it that just... Uncanny Valley almost pulled me out a little bit and the other problem is that there's been so many memes teasing how he looks like there's one from like that <laughs> yeah. tv show porn stars and stuff like that where they've made him look like the main guy from that i'll bring some up later oh, right. yeah, but yeah, yeah. as a result there's some things where i just like the memes have made it so i can't unsee certain likenesses yeah fair enough yeah bro man um star lord ruins everything because reasons that's that's what that's like every time. Yeah. Like, like, like I felt like Star Lord yeah, ruined everything true. like three times in this film. That's very true. You know. Yeah. It's Especially like, when the, yeah when when they were on the planet and they were had Thanos down and like yeah. the glove was almost. If, if Star Lord had just stood there, yeah. they would have won. I'm yeah. okay with that. <laughs> and, and like he's... someone could have just put on the glove and then killed Thanos and then exactly yeah. like his girlfriend was murdered. 
Yeah, but still, there's still a part of you. That's this. That's what I didn't like about this one. There's, there's like, I, I understand uh, all of these horrible emotions people are going through, right? Yeah. But there's still a part of you which is like, like that your mind has to take take over, take control over what you're feeling. And I feel like in that situation where he's standing there, he's looking at the person who just killed his girlfriend that he loves, and they're about to take the gauntlet off, and he's like, "Okay, well, as soon as they get the gauntlet off, I'll." To pick it up and I'll I'm kill him. Fuck him up. Yeah, you know, I'd, it's yeah. like it's like instead of just I'm just gonna punch him so he wakes up Thing and then is, he destroys half the universe. I find that incredibly characteristic of Star Lord because he does that in all his films. Like in the last film, he finds out that Kurt Russell killed his mother. Real life, Kurt Russell killed his mother. Um, and like <laughs> half, like within three seconds of Kurt Russell admitting that, halfway through a monologue, Chris Pratt shoots him like six times in the face. Yeah. Um, Chris, like his character isn't like like. He doesn't have, un like he doesn't he doesn't have a cool, calm, collected restraint. His character, I I've kind of always seen his character as being a stunted nine year old that at this point is like a thirty two year old man that's about seventeen, like. <laughs> Well, like my point is like, <laughs> like nine year old is thirty two and nineteen. <laughs> no, my my point is like <laughs> I've I've kind of seen him to be like yeah. in the way immature. he's grown up, he's not much more mature than you'd be at sixteen. So it makes sense that to, to me at least that if he just finds out that Gamora was murdered, he's not but, thinking but even past then, that second. Even then, it was such a it was yeah. such a throwaway thing. It was such it was such a TV show moment. Whereas yeah. like where, where, where um what's the Nebula where Nebula's like. Well, uh, and like that, this is this I is the moment she that realizes. Nebula would have, yeah, yeah. It was like this him. is the moment she she realizes that the Gamora's dead. It's like, it was wait, like wait, she what? had a motive to manipulate mm. him. I just hated it. that, that scene weird. because they take the gauntlet off of him. Yeah, like, Spider Man like, like, comes off his off hand. Of yeah, and then he wakes up and he has the gauntlet back on his hand. Like immediately, he punches them and like and, and yeah. Everything. And I was just like, okay, nah, that's that's fair enough. Oh, it was frustrating to what I. The other thing I did kind of like about it though is Iron Man got a taste of his own medicine in that in Civil War. Iron Man even does the exact same thing where it's like all Iron Man has to do is not try to kill Bucky. But Iron Man finds out that his mum got killed and he just loses his, like he can't like yeah, in Civil right. War Iron Man yeah. does the exact same thing. Um mm. and I didn't complain then because he's like, sorry, he killed my mum. Like I I have to. Regard like there's no greater good right now, he killed my mum. Also, uh they could have just destroyed the Infinity Stones. Like that that was just like they they talk about doing it and then they all decide not to do it for like reasons where I'm like seriously yeah you know or I'm, or I'm just i'm just like oh man if i was one of these heroes <laughs> you know yeah. it's just like it's like it's like oh it's like we're talking about half the universe not even half the world mm. half the universe and people are like but vision yeah. <laughs> and i'm like well i think yeah. it's yeah it and, was and it's like yeah. and the time gen that like uh dr strange is like he's like well i've sworn to protect it and he's like well how about the only way to truly protect it is to destroy it and, and he's like no nah, i won't do that I'm like, my brain is fanboying out right now, buddy. Mm. My, my brain is like, no, but the only way Doctor Strange can protect the world is if he has a time jump. I'm getting really like, nah. <laughs> but I agree. At the same time, I'm like, yeah, you, it makes you, sense. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I just like the fanboy mm. troll person to me just wants to like <laughs> argue. troll. I just want to argue you, but you're right. Uh, they're two very different yeah. things. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, I guess we just uh, dive on into it. I so like the it. film starts off, uh, you hear like a distress call out in space and it's um, obviously picking up where Thor Ragnarok left off uh, and basically... Everyone uh, dies. Like everyone everyone <laughs> Yeah, Thor, uh, the Asgardian ship has been overrun by Thanos' people and yeah. Thanos himself. Yeah. One and of my and, there, and yeah. Thor is like defeated as well. One mm-hmm. of my favourite scenes and also one of my biggest sort of pot holes is in this scene... One of my favorite scenes being Hulk fighting Thanos. Yeah, like because such seen- a such an Avengers moment leading up to that, isn't it? Where they're like they're just talking, stalling, and then all of a sudden it's like bang, Hulk's and Loki's, here, and, it's and like, Loki- yeah, we got this kind of thing. What I what I love in that scene though is Loki says we have a Hulk, which is exactly what Iron Man yeah. says to Loki in the first yeah. Avengers. Mm. Anyway, I, I just, it's just like we've seen plenty of people fight the Hulk at this point, but we've never seen anyone beat Hulk with martial arts. Mm. Like we've mm. seen Iron Man beat Hulk with just overpowering. And we've seen Thor build, beat Hulk with just a big hammer. But it was fantastic with no special gadgets or anything for Thanos to just, like, yeah. strategically break the Hulk down. Like, yeah. punch by punch, just smack, smack. It felt Mortal Kombat brutal. Mm. That entire fight was brutal. Plot hole, though, is that this ship has been destroyed. Where was the Hulk when they just raided the he ship? He was just chilling everybody? out with Korg. Just like, down, down, <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that's so, like... How's it going, Hulk? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... 
So like, actually, yeah. we didn't we see. Go, we, yeah, we didn't see I really, Croak, I really yeah. wanted to see Dis- Cog. Disappointed and, uh, that we didn't. Cog's dead, I guess. Yeah, and they destroyed the ship. So it's probably because I didn't get like Takamatiti's probably busy directing something. Well, know. no, he actually helped. He helped write all of Thor's. Scenes yeah, well, in, they in the universe. Um, uh, in the Avengers movie. Anyway, so that's one of my favorite scenes. One of my bigger plot holes is like, where the fuck was the Hulk when all of that happened? Yeah. Right off yeah, the fair. bat, we know this film is more serious than the others in terms of consequences. People die. Mm, Heimdall. Yeah. Right? Heimdall yeah. gets killed. Um, Loki. What Loki I loved about Heimdall being out. killed first is for a year, people have been theorizing that maybe Heimdall is the last gem. People have been thinking that maybe yeah, Heimdall, because right. he's got like yeah. the yellow eyes and shit. People are like, what if Heimdall's a gem? Nope, straight up, sort of yeah. the heart, who cares? Yeah. Um, Loki uh, gets strangled to death and that scene is really brutal the second time around especially when you know what's going to happen they linger on that a lot because mm. the first time around you're not sure if they're going to kill him or not and you sort of you're waiting to see him like kick his way out or for Thanos to drop him again Yeah. when yeah. you know he's going to die and you're just waiting for him that scene takes a long yeah. time like he squirms and then like snap his neck with his oh yeah so straight yeah, out the gate rough. we know this film has more consequences than mm-hmm. the others have had so far. Fantastic. The thing with um, Heimdall though is why didn't like he makes the um, the gateway the part the rainbow should have beamed someone else. He, sh- he should have yeah he beams the Hulk and that's it. Should have been Thor. Thor. Yeah, um, probably. Bit of a yeah. He should have beamed like yeah maybe he wasn't maybe he just got the wrong person who knows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't see through those golden eyes. Don't call him that. Well, he can uh, see everything, right? So he would have been able to see the Guardians of the Galaxy coming uh, through the ship. Maybe, yeah. maybe, and yeah. maybe it was like it's time for these two people to meet. Also, he- Thor does <clears throat> seem to have a f- quite a fair bit of power upgrade. Mm. In this I movie was going to bring that well. up. Thor is like, yeah, he, he's probably the most powerful Avenger of the movie. Easily. Yeah. I was going to bring this up. Yeah. Is that in the first films, he's substantially less powerful than this. Like He's the same as Iron Man and Captain America. Like, yeah. they have a fight and they're all the same. And he almost equals Hulk in strength, right? Yeah. There's a bit where he's like, with oh, a yeah. hammer. With a hammer, he almost, like, mm. with a hammer, he can get a few decent hits in. Yeah. Um, In this one, He's he can survive in he's space. Straight up in mortal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Strange. and yeah, Doctor Strange, and then yep, yeah, cuts to Iron Man promising Pepper Potts, who's back. Uh, yeah. Because Gwyneth Paltrow had mm. a falling out with Marvel, and then decided she didn't want to be there for Iron Man. Uh, not for Iron Man for Civil War. Yeah. And then they were like, "Hey, what would you say Please. if we were to give you <laughs> a lot of money?" And she went, "Okay, how much?" And now she's back. <laughs> Um, I do like that bit where um where Doctor Strange comes out like of a portal and he's like Tony Stark and Tony Stark's just like what are you what are you selling what's <laughs> yeah like Tony Stark is no longer impressed with anything he's not surprised by yeah. anything at this point which is like, good because cool. Iron Man is very grounded in reality yeah it's very science you know jetpacks all of that kind of stuff but it's all plausible Iron Man is meant to be the but smartest then, Avenger but then like you shouldn't be have, surprised by anything to have him being okay with magic and like understanding that that's just part of the world yeah that helps the audience be like oh, okay this can work i did really like the pairing of dr strange and um, iron man iron man yeah that, yeah it was two similar personalities like uh it's two stubborn people knocking heads and it was fantastic other, yeah. it's two people that are used to being the smartest person in the room comparing dick sizes yeah. like it's, yeah. it was fantastic I love, like, there's a part where, like, Dr. Strange's coat, like, slaps Iron Man and he's like, yeah. I'm going to allow that. Like, they're both sort of, like, yeah. pretending they're the strongest. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, speaking through. of pretending they're strongest, let's move into uh, when Thor meets up with uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Did you like? Did you like the bit where Quill's putting on the voice and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah, yeah For yeah. me, that was a bit too much. I was it like, was a little uh, bit too much. I was but like, it, it was kind of, it was kind of, uh, the reason I liked it is because we went through a lot of heavy stuff. Yeah. yeah, and they were like, "We need to bring the we need they, to bring the tone This movie back a bit. does a good job considering the whole film is very impactful. Yeah, like most of these MCU films, because they start quiet and get louder, you get plenty of time to breathe. Whereas this film really mm-hmm. stri- like they really mm-hmm. had to strive to create moments where you could have some downtime. Yeah, mm. um, I also feel like after Guardians of the Galaxy and after Thor Ragnarok, they're like, okay, these are some of the the most favorite films people have enjoyed. We obviously yeah. need to do more stuff like this. I think yeah. the other thing We need thing to have is, these moments. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. So Thor's on the ship. They, they, a few, like... 
interact. This is not a dude. Yeah. You are a dude. He this interacted, is a man. Yeah. yeah, he interacted really well with Rocket. Yeah. That was, a yeah. Really, that was really good. So then the Guardians of the Galaxy sp- split up. Split up. Yep. Thor goes off to find a new hammer. Here's the part that I was kind of confused about is the last movie was about how he doesn't need a hammer. Yeah. The last movie is like, you don't need a hammer. The power doesn't come from the hammer. The power comes from you. And in this movie, he's like, the only way I'm going to be able to beat him is if I get a new hammer. I'm like, I I think it was more like, um, like, yeah, like Thor's power. He comes from Thor, but the, the hammers are still like the mo- one of the most powerful weapons yeah. in the in the yeah. universe. I think it's also the other way to the only way to channel all of Thor's power into in, one big into, touch. Yeah, yeah. Well, they agree to split up. Cuts back to Iron Man and all of that, and then the aliens show up. They go outside. Mm. Telekinetic and uh, Cheap Man's Thor. Yep, yep. <laughs> and yep. it was it was fantastic to see the Hulk not come out. What did you guys think about that? The Hulk would have... Uh, yeah, yeah, I was having it up. Interesting. Did you notice in all of the trailers and stuff that Hulk's running in the background? Of, oh, like, yeah. Oh, if you go back like and... Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah. The, that's what I was going to say, is they did a fantastic job of hiding things in this trailer. They like, really did. For the whole trailer, they CGI'd Thor's eye patch. Yeah. Um, mm. And, yeah. yeah, there's a whole bunch... Of, if you go back and watch it, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's been CGI'd in and CGI'd out. There's, like, one of the biggest scenes is they're all running together and the Hulk's running behind them. Never happens. Some people could get, like... Some people get annoyed at that. I think no, I yeah, love that kind that. of marketing. I love that. You I that. loved it in Godzilla when there was, there's a scene in the trailer for the the Godzilla film, and where it's Godzilla screaming into the air as two giant doors close on him screaming, and it doesn't happen in the film. It turns out it's Mothra because like you didn't know about the yeah, the villain, yeah. there's, but then there's this giant. Is it Mothra? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but, there's, but there's, it's doing the same thing. It's screaming to the air, and I loved that. I love bait and switch marketing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that, so that was good. That so was good. I'm assuming Thor, uh, not Thor, the Hulk refuses to come out because he's afraid of Thanos. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's I gathered. Obvious, yeah. It's not stated, but well, I'm it's, assuming it's pretty obvious when he's like, "No, like I don't like, want to." The Hulk has been beaten up, but the Hulk has never ever come close to death. Yeah. In this, Thanos straight up could have snapped his Knocks neck. Knocks him out. Yeah. Thanos yeah. could have murdered him. Um, which again, it's it very quickly establishes the baseline of how powerful Thanos is, even without the Infinity Stones. Yeah. He's just He's yeah. the big bad. Because we're, because we're going through quite honestly, a, a little gripe. Yeah. Um, Doctor Strange, he can do the teleporting thing. And we and we saw, uh, I think it was Wong that closed a portal Cuts and off it the cut hand. off the guy's yeah. hand. Yeah. 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 And I was just like, well, can you just do that to Thanos and his yeah. gauntlet? Anyway, I think that whole that whole sequence generally is fantastic. I love the Wong mm. is invited to my wedding. As you yeah. fly, like Wong yeah. saves the life. He's like, Wong's invited to my wedding. Flies off. Um, we get Spider-Man on the shuttle. With Doctor yep. Strange, and then we get Iron Man telling him to go home, gives him the Iron Spider suit. Yeah. Super happy we got the Iron Spider suit. We were I meant like to that. get it in Civil War. That's when it's in the comics, is he gets it for Civil War, but I'm really happy we got it. Still um, a little bit too magical for me. Yeah. I, I just don't like the, the nanite stuff. Is yeah. is just to a point where it's like, well, we can do anything. It's practically oh look, magic, yeah, yeah. It's, it was like that by like Iron Man 3, I suppose. Where do we go next? We cut forward to uh, more guardians. They're heading off to see Thanos. Yep. The I'm pretty sure I'm doing this. And what are they? Gamora asks Cool to promise to kill her, and then they they. That's right. Head towards nowhere yep. where Thanos is standing. Mm-hmm. They show up. There's a lot of quips with the guardians. I really like that they've continued to show that the guardians they stick together, but that doesn't mean they work together. Yeah. Yep. I love that because in the problem. Avengers, everybody like there's a hero and they delegate and Captain America does a great job of segment in this. Peter Quill's like, everybody go left and everybody goes right. And like, yeah. you know, he does that thing where he puts his hand up to make a fist to signify stop and everybody slowly walks work, past yeah. him. Yeah. No one understands what it means. Yeah. That's a fantastic little scene. Um, I really like that every time there's a new stone, like Thanos uses, uses it and it. you well, understand I was what it is. I was worried we like, wouldn't get that. I was worried everything would just be a beam of light and you yeah. wouldn't understand. Yeah. The reality gem is so insanely powerful. So OP, yeah. yeah. That, uh, like, I'm surprised he doesn't use it for, the re- like, so much right? more of the stuff. That's... It's just, like, it's just, like, insane. It's think- like when Mantis, like, turns into, like, the ribbon or whatever. Yeah, that right? was so freaked cool. Yeah, I, falls into I thought he killed them. I yeah, thought, me too. I, I thought I, he I just like, instantly killed I them. I would have preferred if they had. Yeah. Only because consequences. I think it would have been fantastic if they just go up against him and he turns them into, like, he turns Drax into blocks and I was like, oh, shit. Mm. Like... Yeah, I was like, he just killed Drax. There's a Guardians 3 coming out. There's... Um, the only, the only other plot hole is that when Thanos shows that he has the reality stone and all of that is like, I know that they say like, he can't kill half the universe until he's got all of them and he can click his fingers. But once he's got those first two, getting the, like, 
he there shouldn't be a fight. Well, he has three at that point. Yeah, there shouldn't <laughs> be a fight. He's, like, he's got power, space, and reality. He can just he can just blink around the universe, destroying half the yeah. planets, right? Like, yeah, like I mean, at the very least, you'd almost give up on getting the last stone and just fucking do, run, do it with your hands, <laughs> like. Um, I think, like, to, to say from, like, well, like, not really devil's advocate, but uh, he probably wants to get all the gems so no one can undo what he wants to do. Because if someone has a time gem, then they could go yeah, back in time and stop true. him. So then we get Gamora and Thanos, and they find Nebula. Nebula's being held, like, captive and tortured. Mm. And I think that's th- this kind of scene is where the tipping point goes between this is not an Avengers movie anymore. It's now a movie about Thanos. Yeah, and it which follows, is really good. I Like, I really liked it because it is the, they found a way to make like destroying the universe actually an understandable an yeah. understandable uh, cause uh, way to have. like because yeah. most of the time it's just like it's like oh just evil for evil's sake but this was like no he has a plan mm. and he has a valid reason and it's relevant it's relevant yeah. to conversations that are being had these days about yeah, resources overpopulation in, and everything in yeah. our, yeah, yeah, he's in like, our world yeah. the universe is finite mm. he's like yeah. yeah it's fantastic um, if left unchecked so we find out that Gamora knows where the mind gem is and then we the cut soul gem, the soul, soul gem, soul and gem, then yeah. we cut back to, oh, where are they now? Well, Thor, and they're going to get a new hammer. That's right. Oh, Vision. We, uh, oh yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, right. Stuff with Vision, yeah. Vision and-, and Scarlet Witch uh, off living life. Yeah, living in- life. Turns out he can make himself look like a human. Good on him. Yeah, mm. I guess that's the. It's the probably mind just gem. the the actor <laughs> probably just didn't want to. Mm. Ah, uh, the soul gem, that one. Ah, um, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> That's the is, mind gem. They, the mind gem, they yeah. go looking for the soul. It is gem. a mind gem. I got this backwards, yeah. Um, and uh, they get attacked. Yeah, they get attacked by Thanos' uh, sons and daughters. Every, uh, my brother sitting next to me flinched, and so did I um, when, when he got stabbed. Gets stabbed. Yeah. Fantastic. Because you don't yeah, see solid. jump scares aren't in any of these MCU movies. Uh, I would say I think they are. are. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they I are. I don't think there are any like that. I'd, I mean, maybe. Uh, there, Phil Coulson few, I, getting stabbed. Yeah, I can't see off yeah, the top. Okay. Can't see off the top <laughs> of my head. First but. Avengers. Um, what did you think of Captain America's reveal? So, the whole audience, Cap, Cap again being one of my faves, the whole audience audibly cheered mm. when he showed. Like not not like woo, but everybody was like, yeah, like it was so great. But at the same time, that scene, like when Cap showed up, you get the tram like going past and you see him. Everybody was like, yeah, and he like walks into the light. I'm like fantastic let's see cap fuck some shit up yeah and then it immediately just cuts to like black widow and um falcon falcon doing it and yeah cap does very little yeah cap doesn't do much in this film and cap, he's cap doesn't not do a very a interesting character even That's later in the film so, yes. he gets he gets like two like blade shields and i was I like wanted more. i really don't like i really I don't, just give him his a shield back well, yeah. it's so much cooler than whatever yeah. these things are in spider-man he will get a new shoot in spider-man homecoming it's mentioned that tony stark is working on a new shield for cap like a prototype shield so i expected cap to get that in this movie and for mm. us to get because i'm still torn up about cap and stark not being friends and they don't actually reunite. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm very emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't actually reunite in this movie. Which, mm. I guess it'll happen in the next movie and then Cap will get a better shield. But yeah, I, I wanted more from... I wanted Cap to shine a bit more in this movie. Yeah, I really wanted I really wanted more from Cap because I was so adamant that he would die at the end of the film. So I was like, I really wanted that emotional connection with him at the start of the film so that then the payoff of him dying would be so mm. heart-wrenching yeah. kind of thing. Um, and... I guess I just I'm, wanted I'm skipping up, ahead a bit, but when Captain America came up to Thanos, I'm like, fuck, this is it. This is it, man. This is it. Like, holding like, hands with people next to yeah, you. Yeah, like, there's... He's about to die kind of thing, and yeah. he didn't. Spoiler. Um, but, uh, well, <laughs> I was... I was wanting... I wanted him to... I, I wanted, wanted him to, for, I wanted him to die, or I wanted uh, his left arm to get cut off like Bucky. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, that, I thought that would have been cool. True. Um, kind of... Ho- I was hoping for a Deadpool scene. <laughs> I, I, I didn't yeah. think it was going to happen. I was yeah. like, I know it's not going to happen, but it would just it be, would cool be cool. Yeah. If, if, yeah, if yeah. it was just like, if in New York, when they're like fighting and stuff, he shows up. Yeah. Or yeah. Or something. Um, yeah. And then basically, so then you've just got kind of got factions just trying to. Yeah. So that cuts back off. to the spaceship. Then we've got Thanos. Iron Man finds out Spider Man's still on the ship. This is what I love. With the telekinetic alien. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and and Doctor Strange is being held captive. This is what I absolutely love is that this is what humanized Iron Man is, that Iron Man is now a father figure. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And and the thing is, is Spider-Man is more or less making all the same mistakes that Iron Man made, Mm. which I love, which is just like, you know, being being a bit like 
less cautious about consequences and his own like safety and stuff like that and Iron Man's like you shouldn't be doing this I mean I would do it <laughs> yeah I yeah. yeah I just I lo- and then immediately they just like shut down the conversation it's like alright well come over here what do you what, what would you do in this scenario like let's train you mm. like here's, here's, here's the scenario what do you do and that I really like, liked how he did you see that the... really old movie Aliens yeah that's yeah. yeah, great I, I, really, I, really I didn't like that because it was a repeat of they did the same joke in in Spider-Man Homecoming, I think. Ah, Civil or, War. or was it Civil War? Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Ant- yeah. Ant- he's like, yeah. Yeah, he's like, yeah, have you seen this really odd movie, Star Wars? And, and it was the same joke. The, yeah. And I was just like, yeah. 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 I, uh, yeah, I did enjoy the death, though, because I was like, there's no way in hell that realistically Iron Man and, Iron Spider-Man, Man and Spider-Man, could Spider-Man could take on this, yeah. like, sorcerer from the universe kind it's, of thing. Yeah, Titan sorcerer. And I think, yeah... Because it caught me off guard as well, and I think that was like that yeah. was what the plan was is to catch everyone off guard. Yeah, I, I love because the guy literally says, <laughs> is like, what? <laughs> regardless of how much technology you have, your powers will always be like inconsequential to mine. And he's like, Yep, but the kid's seen more movies, yeah, and he shoots them all. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. Thor makes it Thor. We we see Game Peter of Thrones, Dinklage. yeah, Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Yeah, that's I fantastic. love that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, what do you think? I, I really liked it. Bigger than ever. Like, that's yeah. massive. That's like, yeah. We have to go to, to the dwarves. And, and, and I was like, oh, that's going to be cool. How, yeah. ex- how, how excited would this. you be to be the person that got to tell Peter Dinklage that you're going to be bigger than everyone? Like, imagine being be like, like he doesn't know yeah. yet. Like, I'll tell him, like, Kevin Feige walks in. He's like, now, Peter Dinklage, like, are you okay? We're going to make you, like, you're a dwarf, but you're a god dwarf, so we're going to make you, like, 30 foot tall. Yeah. And Peter Dinklage should be like, I fucking love it. Like that. I, I reckon Peter yeah. Dinklage had like uh, I don't care. Yeah, like, yeah. he would have been acting on green screen the entire time anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, it, so it's not like he felt like like a giant. Yeah, he's like, are yeah. oh, you just be like, you know, okay. So yeah, Thor makes a hammer. Groot really pissed me off in this movie. I was I I don't don't like teenage Groot. No, nah. I didn't mind baby Groot as comic relief, but I didn't like teenage Groot. He was like, um. Anyway, they make Thor's hammer. There's a part where Peter Dinklage says hold it Thor when Thor's holding open for the star to get through first time I saw the movie I thought he says hold the door and I was like oh <laughs> <laughs> but no he says hold it Thor so uh, game of the, missed opportunity game of the there but also I, I wasn't a fan of the way that they got the handle for the axe yeah me either I when knew it was Peter Dinklage is like oh we need a we, we need, need a, a handle, handle. Just find Dude, the someone, handle someone find tree. a handle it's like well surely you would have like Plan this out a bit. I think better. I think they had a handle, but Groot was like, "Well, this is faster." I kind of preferred him without. I actually really like him in Thor Ragnarok once he doesn't have the hammer. No, yeah, I, I, I like think him he pun- needs the hammer. Punching yeah. stuff. I, I reckon he needs the hammer just because it's it's Thor. It's Thor. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Then we cut to them being on Titan and what's left of the Guardians of the Galaxy meet up with Doctor Strange and Iron Man and all of that. Tell you what, Star Lord on, on Titan, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, on Titan, on like the crushed spaceship and whatnot. Also, yeah, Star Lord really holds his own against Star Lord. Beats Spider Man and Iron Man in this. Well, he yeah. is half god. Yeah, but yeah. like <laughs> half like, planet. <laughs> yeah, he is half planet. <laughs> <laughs> half man, half, half planet, planet. <laughs> half planet. <laughs> Planet man, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just, you know that, you know that old joke is like, it was like about the mermaids of which which halves would you want yeah, to be yeah, half yeah. fish and half yeah, top half, half planet, bottom <laughs> half man. <laughs> 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 the only thing I didn't buy is he holds Spider Man around the neck with a gun. I'm like, Spider Man's gotten out of that so many times. Yeah, Peter Quill yeah. doesn't exactly have super strength. Yeah. Um, and Iron Man gets Drax. And Iron Man's like, I'll shoot him. And Drax is like, I can take it. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, no, you can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then like, you know, who do you work for? Who is your master? What do you want me to say? Jesus? I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. you're from Earth? Are yeah. you from Earth? No, I'm from Missouri. Yeah, that's on Earth, dickhead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that whole... That, that was a good interaction. That yeah. interaction yeah. was great. Doctor Strange and Spider-Man and Iron Man versus the Guardians of the Galaxy. That was fantastic. Yeah, what happens next? Gamora and Thanos travel yeah, that's to right, yeah. Vesterix, or whatever the name of that yeah, planet was, yeah. uh, to retrieve the soul gem. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Really good scene. I thought it was going to... I thought... She's, like, forced, from the... she's forced to reveal to Thanos where it is, so to save her sister. Yeah. Uh, Red Nebula. Skull shows up. I was so tripping when it was Red Skull. I, I loved thought, it. In the comics, Thanos has one true love, and it's a death. 
Death is an actual character in the MCU and Thanos is in love with Death, which is why he wants to destroy the... In the comics, Thanos wants to destroy the entire universe to please Lady Death because he's in love with Lady Death. Mm. They, they Boring. They retconned yeah. all of that. Yeah. Women. No. They retconned all Jeez. of that. Not where I was going at all. <laughs> <laughs> they retconned all of that and we got Dr. Sh- we, we, we got... A Red Skull. Yeah. That I never expected to see Red Skull again because nah, there was nah, a contract thing with Hugo Weaving and he didn't want to return as Red Skull. They just got someone else to do it and CGI'd it. I don't know why I didn't think they'd do that, but <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Probably it, was, it was great. One of the easier characters to CGI. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. It was just really cool to be and like... I was, re- I was just glad that he was completely different. Like, you, yeah. can, you can tell that all of this time, like, alone on this yeah. planet, protecting yeah. something he can never... He can never hope to He can to never get. have, and very few people would even show up. It's like, just, like, it's, it humbled him, and it made him, like, have, like, a newfound wisdom that I love. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really cool... I'd happily... Because it wasn't even, like, leading up to, like, if you take the soul gem, take me with you, I want to go back to Earth. And yeah. And it's like, it, it wasn't even leading up to he was that. Just, he, he was, was just, just like, like, I'm... This is my I'm life okay now. with my isolation. He <laughs> was like, I'm yeah. practically dead. Like, mm. what I really want is in the next film for the Avengers to have to go and seek him out and for him to give them the a moment where he like sees Captain yeah, America I'd absolutely love that mm. that'd be they probably won't it'd be fantastic anyway so mm. we see that I love the scene where he's like you must give up something you love yeah and Gamora laughs at him and is like I've been waiting my whole life to see you finally find something that you yeah. can't just punch your way through like for karma too for, yeah. to, to finally realise that you not loving anything is now your biggest downfall and mm. he starts crying and she's like really tears and he's like they're not they're, they're not, they're for, not him. for him yeah and then that like the penny should have dropped for me earlier that that was going to happen it didn't though I was I so did, I did see it happening I fairly early I, on I, but they I did. should <laughs> have I, I got, like yeah. I know that I yeah. should have but I was just but so but they lingered on it enough to make it emotional yeah. even though like you could kind of see it coming just seeing the tears mm. and just watching them like go down his face you're like holy crap see, like yeah Thanos is actually very relatable like we're he's all very v- and, and, and then, when and then we have the it. moment which proves this film is rated PG, where he throws Gamora off. And she like falls, green blood, and she's fine. And, and then, and then, and well, then it just cuts to her laying on the ground in green yeah. blood. It's yeah. like you, you don't see impact or anything. Yeah. It's just, it's just she, she falls, and you then don't hear cut. a splat. <laughs> nah. Yeah, uh, everyone groups up at Wakanda. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that happens. They agree to remove the stone from Vision's head. Yeah. They and it was it. good to see. It was good to see Banner talk. Wait, there's with... an Ant Man and a Spider Man now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was good that to was, see. It was interesting seeing Bruce Banner uh, reconnect with uh, Black, Wi- Black Widow. Oh, Black in, Widow in the yeah. scene because they were kind of like kind of a remote. I just still, like get that there. man some clothes. <laughs> yeah, he's still he, he's... ragged clothing when he's oh, there. I'm like, just put some new clothes. on. Well, he probably thinks, well, the Hulk will come out eventually and just rip whatever. Yeah, it means, yeah. So don't worry about it. I did. I did really like the that um, conversation between Banner and T'Challa's um, sister. And the sister was like, oh, why didn't you just do this? And he's like, because we, we didn't, didn't think, of, think it. of it. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that just kind of goes to show it how advanced she is. Yeah. She is in like, and how advanced Wakanda is. It does is have to like sort that. of like, establish where everybody is in relation to each like, other's abilities. Yeah. But it does. It, I think this movie does it quite well. Yeah. In banter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're in Wakanda. They're going to fight at Wakanda. Then we're on Titan with um, Tony Stark laying down his plan to the Guardians mm-hmm. and he looks over and Drax is like yawning and he's like what do you do it's like we what, what did it say we we kick notes and take ass or something yeah, like that. Yeah. We, we kick we, notes we and kick take ass we kick names and take ass yeah that was great <laughs> and then they look at and Doctor Strange is like blitzing so, out and looking through time and it's like You've got a one in one million chance of doing one this in fourteen million six hundred seventy six thousand six hundred and five. Yeah, so this is the interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. No, I'm yeah, fourteen thousand six hundred and five. It was nude. I saw it twice. Here's my biggest sort of. Here's the only thing I'm annoyed at with that scene. Mm-hmm. Is okay. Okay, the positive from that scene is I'm glad that for the first time, the odds were against him and it showed. Whereas usually it's like we've got a one in a million chance and they win anyway. This time, the odds were against them and they lost. Mm. I like that. What I don't like is... In the Doctor Strange movie, Dormammu is the bad guy and Dormammu is a big god that eats planets and shit like that. And Doctor Strange just puts him in a time loop for a billion years. And I just thought, like, why not do that with Why Thanos? not do that with... Yeah, Why exactly. not do that? Why not just turn back time 
a year and then go kill Thanos before Thanos has Infinity Gems. Like mm. there, are, there are there are way too many ways to defeat right. Thanos now, that, that we can I, all think of. Here's yeah. the reason I don't like that. I think when they did that and showed Doctor Strange looking at all the outcomes, that's them being like, oh, Doctor Strange thought about that. Doctor Strange tried that too. Mm. None of them worked. And it sort of stops us from being able to say why didn't he do this because maybe that was just one of but the he did he only look through 14 million possibilities yeah. <laughs> <laughs> technically yeah. there are what infinite possibilities yeah. <laughs> it is infinite so he more. stopped <laughs> pretty short of the <laughs> of the overall yeah. 10 minutes yeah. he should have just kept going he's not even 0.001% through all <laughs> the possibilities but yeah I think them doing that is them saying look Doctor Strange thought of all of that it just didn't mm. work Thanos shows up um, and at the same simultaneously, we get the war happen on Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we get the that CGI army. Now I really I knew we were going to get one because it's in the trailers, but I really didn't want a CGI just nameless army for this movie before mm. I saw it. Also, yeah. also I was really I, 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 was, really I liked it. it before I saw it. I didn't want it. I was really hoping for an uh, Legolas and an Oliphant kind of situation, yeah, which yeah. we didn't get. Uh, I was it, like, yeah. I was like, I want there to be a giant monster, and I want one person to just do like, this is why Captain America's here. Captain America yeah. jumps up and does all the crazy shit. Yeah, and it's, I, it's like I, we didn't get any of those. Moments. I would have really liked more from Captain America in this whole film. Um, I didn't really like that Bruce Banner was in the Hulk armor. I uh, not that the Hulkbuster armor. Hulkbuster armor. I just I get that he's really smart and he's also a scientist. I just think that operating a, a, a an Iron Man suit should be difficult. Operating an Iron Man suit should be. Not well, just well not he has a lot of trouble with it and he doesn't do yeah, any but cool yeah, stuff. Like, I feel like right. not anyone should stuff. be able to sit in an Iron Man suit and be fine with it. I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. good though because I mean, the Hulk's a... in the trailer at the end fight and that, that was just completely CGI'd yeah. right off. Yeah. Like, yep, not correct. Uh, that was I great. thought that was good that was mislead. I didn't, I didn't mind Banner in the yeah. Hulk because that kind of brings, brings back that Banner is a valued member of the Avengers. Like, yeah. it's not just the Hulk. Mm. Um that Banner does actually have that heroicness inside of him. He's like, I'm just a man, but fuck it. I'm going to yeah. do what I can kind of thing. And even when he's in the Hulk buster and getting torn apart, Banner's like, come on, man. Like, I know you like a late this appearance. Is last minute. Yeah. This is it. And then he's like, and fine, Hulk's, I'll do it myself. Hulk's just yeah. like, no. <laughs> yeah. And Banner's like, that was actually fine. Really yeah. Like, I was actually, I was like, I was <laughs> proud, <laughs> proud of myself for that. Yeah, you nailed that one. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. so then we get the fight with Thanos. I did like that yeah. we got more from Doctor Strange. Like, we have just a piss... Like, not a pissing contest, but we have a fight between Thanos and Strange because the others are... Mm. And Strange is, is, is so powerful that he kind of holds his own for a yeah. while there, mm. which is mm. which is really kind That's of cool great. to see. Like, that, yeah, Strange is one of the most powerful characters mm. and they did a great job. Well, something I love about Marvel films is I don't have to worry about the CGI being bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just like, it's, like, <laughs> yeah I, it's such true. a big like, gripe for me on so many, so much stuff. But it was, but on this film, I was just like, there wasn't even a small part of me that was like, oh, I hope the CGI is not going to be bad. Yeah. It, it was just yeah. like, it'll be fine. It's fine. I know yeah. it'll be fine. You know, and, and just watching all of these fight scenes and everything, it's like these all just all look really, really great. Yeah. Yep. We get that fight. I loved almost every every moment of that I loved Star-Lord like Star-Lord like jumps over throws a bomb and then jumps backwards into a portal and gives Thanos the finger yeah, That's yeah. I, I did like all of that working Spider-Man's together Spider-Man's kind of like jumping out of portals and he's like magic punch another yeah, magic another punch magic, punch, <laughs> magic yeah. kick this time yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic I think yeah that was great um Doctor Strange, yeah, holds his own. Mm. Thanos shoots something at him and then he turns it into butterflies and then he shoots something back at Thanos and yeah, Thanos, like, yeah. breaks it. That was great. They, they um, pull the gauntlet off him eventually and then and yeah. then, and then Quill ruins everything. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, my- I, wasn't a, I wasn't a fan <laughs> of that. I would have liked... Um, I, I thought it would have been really cool if one of the Avengers got the gauntlet and they, they like, they put it on or something and then, and then, and then you see... This is why Thanos is the, is is great, and then Thanos does something, and he actually like fights them without yeah, the gauntlet. I yeah, that would have been good if they yeah. took the gauntlet off, <clears throat> and they're like, "All right, he's got no powers now. Let's just take him." And Thanos still just because Thanos is more like you know, it's fucking, he can still handle the Hulk. Like, yeah, yeah. If they're like, "All right, his gauntlet is off," I'll handle this big dummy. Like, then Star Lord runs out, and Thanos still just like swats Smack everyone, like flies, away, picks yeah. the gauntlet up, and is like, "Close but futile." Like, yeah. that would have been great. So cutting like Thanos eventually shows up. So does Thor. Thor shows up on the battleground, which Fucking is awesome. Yeah, fantastic that's, that's, when Thor shows up. Yeah. He's like, "Bring me Thanos." That's my favorite. That's it's, great. It's when like yeah, all the good guys are like they're all getting destroyed and stuff. And it's, I hate to Thanos bring it back to it, but it's like, like back to like Lord of the Rings. It's mm. like yeah, Gandalf coming in, 
and um yeah thor comes and just like absolutely blitzes it before we go what did you think of um doctor strange giving up the time stone that easily i expected- well it's all part of strange's plan so yeah. like the, the like as soon as soon as uh they all started, as soon as uh, they all started fighting and everything and strange was like as soon as strange gave him the time gem i was like oh, okay this is all part of strange's master plan so everything will be fine like mm. as soon as that happened like everything kind of lost its impact for me I because I was like I know that in the next film they're gonna do stuff to fix this oh look I know that they'll fix everything but so, so every, everything film still has yeah. weight for me yeah um, I honestly thought when he's like we're in the end game now it's just because he knew Thor was getting a hammer that was powerful enough to beat him so I honestly thought Doctor Strange was like look it's useless us all dying to protect this gem the only way we're gonna beat him even if I still have this gem is if Thor has successfully gotten a hammer. He ends up having like a bit of a heart to heart to Tony as well. Like I hope that that's a great scene as I'm well. Really, yeah, I really like that one. When he's just like he calls him by name and Tony's like, you know who I am, and he's like, yeah, I too am burdened with knowledge. Like not only has Tony Stark for six years been thinking about the arrival, but Thanos has been planning this for ages. Like he knows the Avengers. Mm. He mm. knows they're not to be underestimated. Yeah, mm. he knows he needed stone like. But doesn't the he say like something like "I really like you, Stark"? He's like, like, "I." He's like, "I really admire you." He's yeah, like, I want you to know, I really admire you. He's like, "You fought honorably." He's like, "When I wipe out half the universe, I really hope the people that are left, I hope they remember you." Yeah, yeah, that's that's a something great like that. Yeah. scene. All right, we're nearly there. So Thanos shows up. He At Wakanda wrecks just wrecks everyone. people. <laughs> just this is where I thought we were going to get Cap's death. Yeah. He wrecks yeah. everyone. Now, you're right. He shouldn't have had to fight. He should have just shown up right next to Vision. Mm. And no, what- like, I'm, I'm fine with him showing up and people trying to fight, but I would have just like, he's like, it's like, okay, you're now a dog or, you, or something, yeah. you, know, you know, just like, like, cause he has, he has things he doesn't want to kill anyone. Like, he but doesn't he doesn't need anyone. to kill them. He, he can just, he can just freeze people or yeah. just yeah. send people to, uh, to Titan or whatever. Models. He can send people to different planets. He can do all like really interesting and also visually interesting yeah. things that yeah. he could have done that they didn't do. And I, and I, found, I found that interesting. This is the moment Cap shines the most. Uh, second time around, I double checked this. Cap is the only person that lands a punch. Cap is the only one that lands a punch on Thanos. Everybody else goes through. Uh, Hulkbuster uh, is the first one to do it. And Thanos just throws him over his shoulder and then t- like forces him into the rock. Then, uh, uh, doesn't he? Doesn't he just go like transparent or something? Yeah, I think he just goes. Yeah, loose he just goes goes through he doesn't him even, and then like yeah. And and, he, and then when he's in the rock, he stops it. So war he's, like, machine. Stuck war in the machine rock. goes to like fly up, and then he just like crumbles. Like he just turns war machine's suit off and throws him to the side. Yeah. yeah. Like everybody, it's only Cap who shows up, and he gets a few. Like he whacks him in the stomach, and then he gets like an uppercut to the face. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. But at least we get to see Cap prevail where the other... Like, it's the only small bit where Cap shines. I really would have liked more. But yeah. And then I just... I really like that even with all of the Infinity Stones but one in Thanos' hand, Cap was still able to stand up to it. Mm. And you could even call that to being, like, one of those moments where Cap is worthy or any of that shit, but Cap is just able to... Um, where's Thor at that final fight with... Um, he's still fighting. He's still the... fighting, and then he shows up. So because isn't he fighting one of the um, children? Probably. I think he's fighting one Either of the that children. That was just wiping point. out a bunch of people. Because yeah. like Wakanda is still being sieged. Yeah. Like there is that awkward moment where Thanos shows up, and like Captain America is just like standing around, and Bucky is standing around, and mm. Black Panther is standing around, like waiting. I'm like, how are you guys not fighting anyone right now? Mm. Like. How good is it when Winter Soldier um, picks, picks up, up Rocket, Rocket. Yeah, yeah, Rocket Raccoon, and it's that's like, fantastic. And Rocket's like, like "Oh, how much for that gun? Arm. Yeah, how much for the gun? How much for the arm? Say, how much for the <laughs> arm? I'm, I'm getting that arm. Yeah. <laughs> so good. That's great. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah. And then Captain, Thanos, yeah. So Thanos Captain America him. just I ex- when he was, him. I expected. I'm like, he's dead. He is cooked. <laughs> yeah, I expected Absolutely it so much. Cooked. Yeah, but not nah, kind of a a bit of a uh, anticlimactic because they showed that scene in the trailer. Yeah, and so we all expected like something big would happen after yeah. that. But Thanos just throws him a right hook and he's down for the count. Yeah, it but is. I I love that we have to see Scarlet Witch kill Vision. Yeah, and yeah. that is so heartbreaking. And you're like, all right, they did it. And Thanos walks up. He's like, time is inconsequential, though. Yeah. And he walks up. Oh, 
Like <laughs> people yeah. were audibly annoyed, yeah. but it, like not in a bad way. It was just stressful that Thanos is Thanos can do that now too. Yeah, mm. you yeah. kind of forget because like, thanks Doctor Strange. I yeah, think the great thing about <laughs> Doctor Strange not using the time gem the whole time is you forget what it does. Yeah, and then yeah. when Thanos uses it, you immediately remember like. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Like don't get me wrong. When she killed Vision, I was like, "Thanos can do this." Yeah. But it was still that moment when, like, people forgot that he has that gem because he never uses it and it doesn't mm. get used at all. He turns back time, brings Vision back to life, and pulls it out of his head. Good and death. that's when Thor shows up. Now this is interesting that Thanos shoots every fucking gem at him. Like Thanos, like shoots. Yeah. Him, but it's got the colors of all the gems at Thanos and at, at Thor, and Thor throws the hammer. The hammer goes through all Straight of through them. It, yeah. So we know for a fact that Thor's hammer is strong enough to stand up to Thanos now. Yeah. If it was just a toe to toe, Thor could win. Yeah. Yeah. If Thanos didn't see him coming. Um and I love that it hits him and Thor gets to like land and he walks up slowly to him and Than- you think Thanos is dead. I didn't I thought that's where the film was gonna end. I'm like, no, they did it. Mm. I didn't think that they'd end with this note because there's a meme that's like, what if Avengers Infinity War ends with Thanos clicking his fingers and everything goes white? I'm like, that'd be fantastic. They'll never yeah. do it. It'd be great, but they're not bothered they're not to do that. It, yeah. Anyway, I'm like, Thor walks up and he's like, I told you, you'd die for this. Mm. And he pushes the hammer into his chest even mm. further. Yeah. Fantastic. Epic. And then like, Thanos looks and at like, him. And like, whispers something. And he's like, you should have gone for that. And you're like, what? And he's like, you should have gone for the head. Yeah. And he clicks his fingers. I'm like... Oh, <laughs> down to the line. <laughs> so good. Yeah. And then it cuts and he doesn't have a gauntlet and he walks over to like little Gamora. Mm. She's like, did you do it? And he's like, yeah. She's like, what did it cost? And he's like, everything. Everything. Mm. I'm like, oh, again, <laughs> Thanos with the feels. I, wish, I kind of wish that I had, that there was a camera pointing at Jordan while you he was no watching idea. this I film. I cried in this film like four times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This, I'm crying talking about it like, Because you, you, like, you, you, you love all of this You're, so, so yeah. much this more than I so do. so much to me, yeah. This and, whole and movie like, so much like, to me. I, I kind of just wish I got... And I imagine all your reactions being so, like, pure. Yeah. That, that's, that's, the imagine, like, that's the way I'm imagining. I, as like, I said, the like, first... Oh. Just a child. As I said, like, yeah. the first time I saw this, like, the, I had to see it twice because I walked out of it. I saw the first film 100%. Heart only, no head. I watched it every every. I didn't guess. I wasn't guessing anything the whole time. First time round, I watched it second time round just so I could analyze it and have something to talk about other than how much I cried in this movie. Like, yeah, this film meant so Welcome much to, to me. my life. This film meant this film meant so much to me. I'm yeah. all head, man. I'm all head, no heart. Cuts back. We get Bucky walk up to Steve and he's like, disappears. Yeah. And I was like, fades. But this is that this is that moment dirt. where you start being like, okay, so who's gonna go and who's gonna stay? Yeah. Cap doesn't go. No. <laughs> All the people that I wanted to go stay. Yeah, but who's yeah. Like, unfortunate. When when they did Bucky first, again, I was like, they're gonna do all like the sidekicks and big raids because then yeah. they cut to War Machine. I'm like, okay, War Machine's going yeah. next, and they do Falcon. Falcon goes, Falcon, mm. but War Machine doesn't. War Machine doesn't. Black it Panther. It wasn't until Black Panther. Yeah. So Black Panther shows up, and Black Panther. That annoyed over, me. But Black he's Panther, been in one film. Yeah. yeah, they'll bring it back. Black Panther Dude, walks yeah, over. Yeah, I know they'll bring it back, but that's that's why they should have gotten rid of the big hizzer. That's why they should have gotten rid of the star. That's why they should have gotten rid of the Captain America. That's why they should have gotten rid of the I agree with you. But, oh. it is, it just come back yeah. in the film. The next film will, like, you gotta remember the next film isn't an hour long. Like, the next film won't just be them solving the problem and that's it. The next film will be another epic, I'm sure. Yeah. It'll, mm-hmm. it'll have to be the conclusion to this. So if this was this epic... The next film is the third act of this film, mm. which was a third act. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> it's like the seventh act now. <laughs> yeah, that's like four acts. So when they when 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 we saw Bucky go and then we saw Falcon go, I was like, okay, they're getting rid of all the B grades. They got rid then, of Skull Witch. Yeah, but then, that annoyed me more than yeah. everyone else. Then Black Panther walks over to Rai, who's like the right hand. I'm like, okay, Rai's going, and he puts his hand out, and I'm like. Like, there was a really tricky cinema. You know someone put thought into it because the camera moves from Black Panther to her and his hand's in the scene and you expect her to go and then his hand disappears. Yeah. And I was like, did they just kill Black Panther? I looked yeah. to double check that I wasn't wrong. I looked to like my, oh, yeah. I looked to my girlfriend and be like, wait, that was Black Panther, right? And she was like, yeah. And I was like... Mm. And then it cuts to Titan and then it's um first Drax. Oh, yeah. Drax goes, I'm like, okay, Drax is gone. And then... Mantis is gone. Mantis is gone. And then cuts to 
Tony uh, it cuts to Tony Stark and he's like Quill you okay yeah and then Quill goes and I'm like yeah Guardians 3 comes out next year what do you <laughs> and then Guys. and then I was like All just right. rock it <laughs> <laughs> and then I expected With Tony Thor. Stark Guardians 3 <laughs> then rock I expected Raccoon. Tony Stark to go and he looks towards Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange is like sorry Tony this is this the is only way to, yeah and then I'm like Tony's going but not stayed on Doctor Strange and then Doctor Strange went and I was like what? what? Yeah, and then and then and Spider then, Man was the hardest hitting. The, yeah, I out cried so hard. Oh, man, so I cried so hard. <laughs> what I was worried, I was like, so who's left? Because in my brain, I was like, who's left? I'm like, okay, Nebula will go next, or Tony Stark will go next. I forgot Spider Man was even mm. in that scene until he's like, Mister Stark. And yeah. I'm like, oh no, he's like, I don't feel so well. And I'm like, oh no, oh. and then he limps <laughs> over. Yeah, and Tony Stark is like, he's pale like Tony yeah. Stark like holding born. him in his arms and yeah. then yeah, the closest thing he, he has to his son he first and, and Spider-Man's like I don't want to go Mr. Stark please don't let me go I yeah. don't want to go I'm like there's nothing anyone can do yeah. that's Spider-Man looking to his hero yeah that's Spider-Man looking to the man that can do anything who saved the world like four times yeah asking him this is the guy that's like save chips- me here's the chips are down man I'm in the arms of maybe the only person that could say, please don't let me go. Yeah. And even Iron Man's like, there's nothing. Yeah. I'd like he spot him. He so brutal. He doesn't even have, it doesn't even so have anything brutal. to hold on to. So brutal. Yeah. yeah. And like ash in his hands. I would have preferred the effects not to be ash. I would have preferred it to be different than the fade away ash. I thought it was something a little more brutal would have been better for me, but mm. I don't know what, but. I, I think um, I, would, I would be interested in hearing the discussion where they chose to have like everyone's clothes dissolve as well because mm. I think it could have been really impactful to have people's clothes fall yeah. to the ground yeah it's like yeah. if he was just there holding a Spider-Man you know suit didn't, you know why they didn't true. do that because when, they, when they bring everyone back they're, they're all gonna naked. bring everyone back <laughs> naked <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that'll PG. be why when they bring everyone back they don't want to bring everyone back naked yeah. but um, that's the last death I think is Spider-Man goes so yeah. we're left with which is brutal all of the originals so we have Cap, Thor Iron Man and Hulk mm. then we have Rocket Raccoon Nebula Groot uh, Groot and does Groot every- survive? Yep. I'm pretty sure it does yeah yeah Groot survives Wait, no, Groot doesn't survive. Really? Groot goes and I'm Rocket's pretty sure Rocket, Groot, Rocket's yeah. like Oh yeah, yeah. Rocket's And Rocket's like, like Oh no, not you No, please no Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, right, that's yeah. hard. That would have been more heartfelt if we had any reason to give a fuck about Groot in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Final shot, Thanos walks up to see the sunset. Yeah. And he's crying. Like bleeding. And he's, he's bleeding. Mm. This is a man I thought that, is- that was going to cut to Hawkeye and his kids were going to disappear. That's where I thought Ooh, that scene was. Because it was just, it was just yeah. like, it was just like a, a hill, mm. a meadow, a forest, and there was just a house there. And I was like, oh, is this Hawkeye's house? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be Hawkeye. His kid's going to disappear and he's going to be like, what, what's what happening? I, what I loved about this scene was it wasn't Thanos walking back to a big stone chair in space. It wasn't Thanos walking to a mansion. It wasn't yeah. Thanos walking to sit on a throne or be yeah. a king in front of a bunch of people. It was Thanos walking to a lonely meadow. A little cabin in the woods. A little cabin in the woods. Retirement, and he can basically. finally he can finally rest feeling like he's avenged what killed his entire planet. Yeah. I would have preferred for all of the stones to, you know like the dragon balls after you have your wishes they get scattered yeah I would have preferred yeah. he does this yeah. the gauntlet that gets destroyed mm. the stones go everywhere and Thanos disintegrates mm. that would have been fantastic um instead we'll get like instead of saying like this person will return or all of that it says Thanos will return yeah I really mm. like that that was fantastic that I was really great like Thanos that. is one of my favourite MCU characters yeah Not actually just he's a re- really villains. good villain not yeah. just villains but characters yeah he's fantastic so we're done with the film, more or less. Pretty much, that's it. Except uh, we've got the final scene after the credits, the end credit yeah. scene. I really like the end credit scene because we didn't get to see whether Thanos has affected the rest of the world. That end credit scene shows, like, because I was like, half the universe, like, what happens just fucking in Melbourne? Like, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. What's happening in the world now? And I really like it. Like, the world has gone to shit. Like, helicopters, like, fucking. Yeah. People died left, right, and center. Mm. What I didn't like was that they used it to plug. Ant Man's gonna be a different film. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think yeah. <laughs> dark, grim universe. Ant Man and the Wolf. It'll be set before this. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be really weird going to Ant Man from this. So imagine if yeah. at the end of Ant Man he disappears. Well, I'm hoping at the end of Ant Man, I don't think Ant Man will disappear. I think the Wasp will disappear. Yeah, I'm hoping. Or because again, I know that. 
talk about it. But I, again, I know that Ant Man is in the next film because of the photo, the set photos and stuff they've released. Fair enough. Yeah. Maria Hill goes, Nick Fury goes, and we nearly get a motherfucker from Nick Fury. Yeah, That's true. Great. <laughs> we finally get Sam. I was like, I'm when, waiting 18 films. Yeah, and then this so the was, final, the final yeah. shot is Nick Fury's pager falls to the ground. Yeah. Did you and notice the pager fa- question mark? Why does he have a pager? Did yeah. you notice the um I can tell and you why he has a pager. No, it's because Captain Marvel was set yeah. in the past. I don't care. It's the fucking present day. There's fucking Tony Stark with an Iron Man suit made out of nanites. He can update his bloody technology. <laughs> yeah, maybe she can't. Can't remember. So, so we'll oh, just finish the end, pager, the end screen. The <laughs> yeah. pager, the the little yeah. it screen ends on the pager. On the Umbrella ends. Corporation from Resident Evil. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be yeah. that's because I, I don't know anything about Captain yeah. Marvel. I saw that I was like, "That's that's the res what?" I, I, I was like, "That looks so much like the umbrella thing from Resident Evil." I'm so great. confused. It is very ambiguous though. Like you yeah, see that it, symbol. And you're like, I was like, uh. "Anyway, this film was fantastic. This it, was yeah. this film has been so long in the making for me, and I follow all of this shit religiously. This film has been." This film, this film, the other thing is, is this had such a, such a build up that I was certain there's no way it'll, I'll walk out of it feeling okay. <laughs> well, I, I figured there was no way I'd walk out of it feeling like the height still got there. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. did for me. This was Absolutely one of the did. few uh, films which felt really film worthy to me. Like mm. I, have a, like, I have a big problem with films and like I'm su- such a big fan weird, of TV shows uh, TV shows over films because I, I feel like they can just, just they can carry more weight and give more yeah. depth yeah and they have better, more time better characters and now getting incredible budgets like Game of Thrones and Westworld and everything that are like that I'm like what, what so many films are just such a big disappointment and yeah. big let down which I felt like there was that thing with Black Panther I had big problems with that and like I did love Thor, but I still had so many letdowns for me. This was the first film where I was like, I know all my gripes with it, but I'm kind of I I'm, I'm willing to ignore them because mm. this film was really entertaining. Yeah, and such a spectacle. I feel like yeah, just some umbrella statements that I guess we all got from from this was that in this movie, like it, no one is safe, and it, it had consequences. Really, like mm. the consequences it, it felt like that. Yeah, really hit home. Um, a lot of people died, and I think it's great that it's not the ones that we expected. Yeah. Because there was an element of surprise when people died. And you know, when Black like, Panther went, I lost my shit. Yeah, like, yeah. All right. Uh, Man, DC sucks. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, DC. <laughs> There's a meme that's out there that's the end credit scene of um, this movie, and it's just a pager, except in it, it just has the Wayne symbol. Okay. <laughs> that would have been fantastic. Yeah. It's not even Batman, it's yeah. the Wayne industry. The Wayne. <laughs> Morgan Freeman shows up. Okay, dogs, do we have anything that we can close this very long and extravagant podcast on? Look, there's something that I want you guys to do. Right. Um, It may take time, so I'm going to rush <laughs> it a bit. Okay, go. All right, so what I was going to get you to do is I took the time to write down and then cut out every individual Marvel movie, and then I was going to get you guys to order them. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do instead is give a rough order, which is my order of these films. Right. And then once we get to what I'm assuming will be more or less like the top five or the top ten or the top three, when you guys to help me figure out where I'm going to put this movie. Okay. All right? So... I'm just going to quickly run through these from worst to best as it stands without this movie. So we're talking about the Marvel Cinematic, Marvel U- Cinematic Universe. Universe. All uh, up there is now 19. 19. Yep. All right. So we have, as my worst film ever, Iron Man 2. Then we have Fair. Thor 2. Then we Fair. have Thor 1. Then we have Fair. Iron Man 3. Stop me if you disagree. Then we have Fair. The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. Then we have uh, Age of Ultron. I would have put Hulk lower, I think. Yeah. Then we have Age of Ultron. Then I have Ant-Man. This is where we're getting into the good to greats. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have Ant-Man. Then we've got Cap the First Avenger, mm-hmm. Guardians 2, uh, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy. We're in top five now. Black Panther, Avengers 1, Thor Ragnarok, Iron Man 1, Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War. I somewhere think this movie here, is definitely a top five contender. Somewhere in here. For sure. So let's do this one by one. Is this movie better than the first Avengers movie? Yes. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, it so is. So now we have 
now we have it in Although our... Although you can't really have this movie without... Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. but, but, I'm, I'm but just, I'm, just completely looking at both of them, this yeah. is better. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm including a little bit of nostalgia, but not too much, but I'm not doing this based on whether you can see this movie without having seen the other. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, once yeah. you've seen all of them... This is within the universe yeah. still, yeah. Okay, now is it better than Thor Ragnarok? Yes. Um, no, for me. No? All right. But Thor Ragnarok is at the top of my list. So. Okay, right. so at the moment, I've got this at Civil War, Winter Soldier, Iron Man 1, Thor Ragnarok, and then Infinity War. So let's skip past Ragnarok. Is this better than Iron Man 1? Yep. Yes. Yep, I'd probably agree with that. So getting rid of Iron Again, Man Again, though, 1, it's difficult because I would put Iron Man 1 a bit lower than what you've put. Yeah, up. same. Getting rid of Iron Man 1, now I have Civil War, Winter Soldier, Thor Ragnarok, Infinity War. Is this better than Winter Soldier? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it recently. We're, it's good, man. Yeah. It's Winter good. Soldier, it is an amazing movie, but... It's an espionage again, film, and it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it, it is an amazing movie, but in terms of everything, I still think okay. Avengers Infinity now War Now we have better. Thor Ragnarok. Uh, no, sorry, now we have Civil War, Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War. Is this better than Civil War? This is the one that I didn't know what to do with. Yeah. I watched Civil War uh, Tuesday night, the day before I saw Infinity War, mm-hmm. and man... Man, oh man. Yeah. The introduction to Spider-Man, the first ever, the, the introduction to Ant-Man being big, the introduction yeah. to Black Panther, so, the breakdown of Captain America and Iron Man, the first talk of any consequence in the MCU whatsoever. I'm going, I'm going to say that Infinity War is probably, and like obviously is probably going to change, but because it's so fresh... I would say Infinity War is right at the top and it beats Civil War just because that I had so many things that I wanted to get out of Civil War that didn't quite make it. And like all of the other films, you have like a certain sense of expectation. You've got to have a comic to movie realism ratio. Like, and and you are, like you do understand where the <laughs> movie is. that what I says makes sense. You, you do understand where the movies come from and everything, but Infinity War just shattered expectations for Absolutely. me like i going in infinity war I is a good have... film yeah, yeah. even yeah. like apart from like comics and superheroes it's a good film and it's really well written mm. yeah and it ends on a really good note yeah and it's just a really well made film yeah and that, that's where i kind of come from with most of this stuff i'm not as big a fan of this all, all this uh universe as mm. both of you are that i know mm. like jordan's even wearing a, a bloody spider-man jumper like <laughs> angus is wearing <laughs> captain america socks yep <laughs> <laughs> so like I, I know i'm not a, i'm so i always view these as films over their content yep. and so Infinity War is just a higher echelon than mm-hmm. everything else I'll agree yeah I'm happy alright I'm going to add just a little fun bit at the end Ooh, of this because yeah. I feel like uh, we got pretty down deep does and, it have sprinkles uh, we need to, uh, it can because you have to uh, bring your uh, the Avengers are done the Avengers are finished they're starting up a new Avengers team oh, and you Avengers. have your own superpower and you have to uh, pitch your yourself as a superhero to the Avengers. Do we choose our own powers? You choose your own powers. Although okay. they can't be stupid. Like, they can't be like... <laughs> they can't be stupid, No, no, Jordan. sorry, sorry. They can, they can be stupid. <laughs> I can turn They can't specific- be stupidly so powerful. So from my perspective, Angus right. was staring into Jordan's eyes when he said, but they can't be stupid. <laughs> no, okay. They can't be like stupidly powerful. They can't be like, so can't be oh, like, well, I'm like 10 times stronger than... I just Thanos, destroy the so. universe by blinking. Yeah, yeah okay. No, okay. okay. They have to be grounded in reality. I've always really liked telekinesis. You have to pitch your superhero movie to us, the Avengers. My movie or my character to the Avengers? Your character to the Avengers, yeah, yeah. sorry. So this is like a job interview. Yep. So hey, I'm- we're the Avengers. Uh, Jordan. Nice, nice, no, to, meet nice to meet you. you have, talent, I've read your application. You can... Sorry, I'm, I'm not used to I'm checking... I'm Hulk. <laughs> I'm not used to shut sh- up, Hulk. You're not. <laughs> you're. You're not in this movie. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not used to shaking hands, obviously, because I move things with my mind. Ah, uh, right, right, right. You're so um, small. Like, <laughs> so like do you remember the, uh, X kind the, of... the battle of uh, Galmama? Do you remember, yes. Do you remember that? Ah, uh, the yep. No. I won. <laughs> shut up, Hulk. I'm the, Go uh, do some gardening. <laughs> oh, yeah, my sorry. second favorite thing is so, <laughs> to <laughs> punching people. <laughs> Hulk, Hulk smash, but Hulk I love also gardening and enjoy punching gardening people. and long walks oh, on the beach. He's a real green finger. Yeah. <laughs> he's a literal green thumb. Oh, yep. Dad joke of the year. 
Anyway, that's all the time we've got. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll put you in the shortlist. <laughs> No, go, so, go, go for it, go for it. So, <laughs> I hear you have a man that uses a bow and arrow. I can do what he does, but mm-hmm. without using my arms or without having to be there. Mm-hmm. And even better than that, I don't even need a bow. <laughs> to be honest, we have a lot of people that are better than the archer. Uh, he's, <laughs> do you? he's on the... Okay. Yeah, let me he's ask on you, the bottom of the let list. Let me ask you this. Yep. Do you have anyone with telekinesis? It's good uh, Scarlet Witch. Fuck, yeah. buddy. I was hoping <laughs> you wouldn't. Witch. I was hoping yeah. you wouldn't put in because I thought Angus oh, would okay. not. I, Angus I'm wouldn't. Re- I was Dude, pretty. I was pretty confident that Angus wouldn't be able to but, remember. No, but this is this is after Avengers: oh. Infinity War happens. So, okay. honestly, we don't have a lot of people. Oh well. And I'm, just, in that case, just letting I, you know before you sign up, a lot of people died, and that's why we're having these interviews. Look, I'm really broke, and also. I'm happy to cook. He's in. He's in. Cool. What's your name again? What's your superhero name? My name is Telegnome. Teleg- <laughs> Telegnome. I'm also a midget. You're also, you're also <laughs> quite short. Now that I said I thought you were sitting down, but actually you're standing. That's just Telegnome. Like on a, on a stop. I like how you pronounce Teleg- the G in gnome. <laughs> it's not in telekinesis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cool. Telegnome. All right, Telegnome. Uh, thanks. Next person. So tell me, what? Uh, why? First, why do you want to join the Avengers? Well, basically, I've got the, all these powers, and if I don't join the Avengers, I'll probably just end up stealing. I'll stuff. stop you that's, right there. And end up <laughs> We've already got people that have powers. Telegnome. Just let me. <laughs> all right. Okay. Wait. Your name's Telegnome. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. Look. <laughs> My name's Blink. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's yeah. pretty, Ooh, that's, that's such interesting. That's sleek. It's sexy. I like it. Yeah. It's good. Much like his outfit. Uh, yeah, what can tight you, latex. So, so what, can, what can you do, Blink? <laughs> um, I can teleport. Very good. So if, say, for instance, um, you came up against someone that was... Throwing remotes maybe at you, say. Small, small stature, um, had, like, maybe telekinesis. Okay. Uh, how would you overcome this foe? Uh, I'd teleport them into the middle of the sun. The Could K. you maybe do a Just demonstration no of your sure. power? Sure. <laughs> Where did you go in that moment? He teleported seconds? you to the sun. That's amazing. <laughs> also, we lost Telegnome, but you know, it's probably not the best. I, yeah, I, brought, I, mean, uh, I also why brought, have I been uh, out of this? I also brought Krispy Kreme back. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Film Slice podcast. Uh, we will be back to our regular scheduled podcast next week. If you made it this far, you're a bloody legend. I'm sorry, there's no end of credit scene. Bye. It's me from the future. The next podcast will be... The worst one you've ever done. Don't listen. Something else. Brody will return.